Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Franks here with the Rust Update, bringing you up to speed on all the weekly developmental happenings. And first of all, last week was, of course, the monthly patch in Forced Wipe, which gave us such exciting new things as horse troughs, new horse models, mini copter fuel gauges, and a bucket full of optimizations. Well, at least for some, it seems. As is always the case. Although I'm hearing some good noises from server owners about performance on their end at least. After any number of changes are inserted into a game though, there's always an equal and opposite amount of cleaning up to do afterwards, and so yesterday, Thursday, a small server and client patch, not a wipe, touched down, bringing with it a few welcome fixes, such as scope overlays no longer being tiny on larger screen resolutions, co-pilots no longer being able to access the fuel tanks on minicopters, a fix to inverse kinematic weirdness on player feats no longer being able to place large furnaces under terrain, and a few fixes to player names. Namely, the font on your team members' names should actually be readable on the map now without a microscope. There's better handling of long player names on the team dock, and talking of which, player names are now limited to 32 characters. So my sincere apologies to supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Zerg Dominator 420 and anyone who knew him. You might have noticed after last week's patch that horses were wolfing down everything you threw into a trough for them, whether they needed it or not, and although you could say this was just realism, it should be fixed now. In addition, they'll regain stamina, as well as increasing their max stamina when eating. Still works in progress, and Gary teased us with some footage of a new HDRP sky shader he made this week. And this is, of course, just part of a larger body of work to revamp all of Rust's visuals. Although it seems Gary would love to illuminate the nights for us and actually let us see what we're doing, Helk doesn't agree and, as it's his game, calls for this to happen have been rejected. That's not to say everyone hates the nights, and there are more things to take into consideration here than just personal preference. But the good news is that even though this is a visual upgrade with all new stars and a new moon, in Gary's words, this isn't gonna kill your frame rate. It's a single full screen quad with like six texture lookups. It's an optimization. Naturally, the assumption is that there's always an inverse relationship between visual upgrades and performance, and nobody's blaming anyone for thinking that. It's a fairly common experience. But it seems that in this case, we might both have our pie and eat it. HGRP looks like it should be either better than or at least on a par with current performance, but because a lot of work and testing needs to be done on this and all the other aspects of the overhaul, it may be some time until we can truly find out. Stay tuned though and I will keep you in the know. There were more commits regarding the giant excavator monument this week, so next month may finally be the month we get to experience it. Gesture animations will be getting sounds, it seems. Not sure what those will be exactly. And as mentioned previously, auto turrets will likely soon require electricity, which of course raises the question, what about cave-based defense, seeing as we only have solar or wind to power things right now? Well, viewers of the channel will know that a fuel generator has been modeled along with a water wheel slash human-sized hamster wheel, and although these haven't been implemented yet, I'm wondering just how far off we are from having them, and when we'll be able to harness the raw power of the human spirit. Thank you once again for lending me your eyes and ears, you can have them back as long as you spank the like and subscribe buttons and throat punch the notification bell. I'm available in several other flavours, including Twitch, where I try to stream three times a week, as well as Twitter, Facebook, ugh, Discord, and my Steam group. You can support my work here on Patreon too, and get access to my secret patron-only Discord section. All the links will be down below, I shall catch you all soon of course, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. Quack, 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 quack.